everybody have a seat. We're going to listen to her responses to our questions that are listed in the resolution, and then we'll ask some questions. Thank you. Her bodyguards. Well, I want to thank uh, you for inviting me here uh, to speak about the issues in the resolution. I appreciate the due process that the club has given me. And I'm hopeful that I'll be able to give you information that, that you want, that you've never heard before in the record. Uh, I thought I would start off by just sharing um, a saying. It says, in a lawsuit, the first to speak seems right until someone cross-examines them. I want to talk for a minute about the Ed Buck case and share with you information that uh, will give you some insight as to what the district attorney's office has done. I'm very limited in what I can say about the case by the law because the case is still pending both in state court and in federal court. I want to say something I should have said a long time ago. I'm sorry mm. to the Moore sorry. family yes, late. Late. Sorry. and the Dean family for the loss of their loved ones. Meth is the most prevalent drug in our society, in our particular community. And we're having a hard time getting those people who are addicted to methamphetamine help. I want to talk for a minute just about our filing criteria and what's required because I think that will help you understand what happened in the Buck case. In order to file a criminal case, we have to have legally sufficient and admissible evidence. And we have to have evidence of the identity of the perpetrator and we have to make sure that the investigation is complete <coughs> and thorough. Finally, after looking at the prosecution's case, we have to look at not just the evidence proving guilt, but also look at any sort of defense that may be plausible given our evidence. Here is the posture that we found ourselves in the Gamel Moore case. Jamel. Jamel Learn his name. Wow. That's basic respect. Wow. Jamel Moore, I'm sorry. Uh, we had to prove under state law that Buck injected meth into Mr. Moore and that that resulted in his death. With regard to Mr. Dean, we had to prove also in that case that Buck injected uh, Mr. Dean with the methamphetamine that resulted in his death. In both cases, Buck called the emergency, per emergency personnel and he appeared to attempt to administer aid. He gave very self-serving statements that could not initially be, uh, that could not initially be rebutted by the physical evidence. When Mr. Moore was found dead, the original sheriff's deputies on the case were not homicide deputies. They were uh, deputies from the station. And at first, they treated it as though it were an overdose. They noticed around Mr. Moore's body that there was a red toolbox. And they wanted to search that toolbox for evidence. <coughs> a coroner's investigator gave them information that turned out to be incorrect. He said that according to the court, the um, government code, that they were allowed to look in that toolbox for evidence. The government code does not permit law enforcement to use that code. Instead, what it says is, is that if you're a coroner, you can look around 
or a coroner's investigator, you can look around for the personal person's personal effect. As a matter of fact, there's case law that that particularly precludes law enforcement from using any evidence in that toolbox. Inside the red toolbox was methamphetamine, and it was the only methamphetamine that was in that house uh, at the time. Uh, so that presented a challenge, and we continued to look for evidence in this case. At some point, we began to hear that there were more victims of Mr. Buck. However, when those victims were interviewed, <coughs> after being granted immunity, there were things that we couldn't corroborate because we knew that they were going to be cross-examined about some of the things that they said. For instance, sometimes a victim would say that he received medical treatment at a particular hospital, and we would go to that hospital and not be able to get those medical records. In another case, we would uh, have a victim who said, I made a police report, and we couldn't find any record of that police report. It wasn't until that third credible witness came forward that we caught a break in this case. In the meantime, before that third victim came forward, uh, the federal government, the FBI, and the DEA began working with the Sheriff's Department to see if they could prove a case under federal law. Because under federal law, you would not have needed to prove that Buck injected either of these gentlemen. You would just need to prove that he furnished the drug. Uh, the third victim, as I mentioned, came forward. And he was indeed credible. He came forward with the information that we were able to corroborate. And of course, we knew that he would be able to testify. It was then that we filed our case against Mr. Buck and we filed the charges that were available <coughs> to us from the evidence. The charges that we filed were a maximum sentence of five years and eight months. And the bail, the maximum bail, was going to be $4 million. After searching Mr. Buck's home and other things during his arrest, we discovered that $4 million bail, dollars bail, $4 million, he was able to make that bail and we did not want him out. About that time, the feds decided they would go ahead with their case, and they asked us to relinquish Mr. Buck's body so they could prosecute their case. In their case, they did not <coughs> have to prove that Mr. Buck injected either of these gentlemen, but rather, all they had to prove is that he was furnishing uh, the drug. Further, their charge under federal law is 20 years to life, a maximum, plus there was no bail. It was at that point we elected not to hold Mr. Buck in state custody and relinquish Mr. Buck to the feds. You will note, though, that the, big, that, that, uh, the feds also had problems in the sense that originally, in their complaint, they said they had 10 victims. But when the grand jury <coughs> indicted, there were only five victims. Nevertheless, the case continues, and we are holding our case in the event they are not able to convict uh, Mr. Buck. And that's where that case stands. The next issue brought up by the resolution <coughs> is excessive force by police officers. It has been said that our office is reluctant to prosecute police officers. Since I've been DA, we have filed 79 we have filed cases against 79 officers. They involve on-duty and off-duty consequences. They include everything from wage theft and workers' compensation to rape and murder. We have filed. Uh, we have filed criminal cases that allege excessive force against 13 officers, including an LAPD officer by the name of Mary O'Callaghan. We are currently prosecuting the first case filed for an officer-involved shooting in 20 years. <coughs> the 
These are challenging cases, and we have gotten convictions through guilty pleas and guilty verdicts. But some of the cases have resulted in not guilty verdicts. These cases are challenging, and these cases are challenging because it is difficult to convict an officer in these cases. We have uh, reviewed. We have reviewed uh, the officer-involved shooting cases from 2016, 2017, and 2018. Maybe some of the information I give you. What about 2019? We will get to 2019 and the other years. Albert Ramon Dorsey was killed in 2018. Okay, right, so was Grishario Mack. Can we please be respectful? Can you can be respectful of these families whose loved ones were killed by police? You shut up. 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 To ask families whose loved ones have been killed by police to be polite while she sits here and lies in their faces is asking too much. So you officer-involved shooting. 71 involved a person with a gun, a knife, or a simulated weapon. What's a simulated weapon? A replica of firearms. Mm -hmm. In 2018, there were 63 officer-involved shootings, and 50 of them involved a person with a gun, a knife, and a simulated right. weapon. Right, Eric Rivera has so, uh, regards to the officer-involved shootings and in-custody deaths, <coughs> Since I've been DA, we have put up all of the documents, all of the information that we have available to try to understand what happened. I do have sympathy for the families of those who lost people to the hands of the I do care. I do care. We are doing the absolute best we can given the state of the law. Uh, we will go back to that. We taxpayers. Sure. I'll go back to that. I'm oh, very sure, short. Uh, after we talk about the death penalty. All right. So the death penalty is a state law, not a county law. Twice since I've been elected, voters have rejected the proposal to abolish it. The committee that decides these cases is racially diverse, and the committee is conscious of the implicit bias and takes that into account when making the consideration. One should note that 70% of the people in LA County in a 2010 census are people of color. Since I've been elected, we have sought the death penalty in only 3% of the eligible cases. There were 1,200 eligible cases, and we sought them in 3%. The cases that we seek the death penalty in involve people who torture their victims, People who murder children, or who are serial killers, or people who commit mass shootings. LA County Sheriff! The District, the district Attorney's yeah. Office has not exclusively only decided to seek the death penalty on people of color. Oh, maybe there's <coughs> white ones that have been sought <laughs> or tried using there the death penalty? Been, uh, five people 
in which the committee has has requested that we get death or that we that the jury seek death that are not people of color. That's not important. Finally, I just want to close with just a few sentences here. We've been innovative in developing ways to improve the way the justice system works. I've been on the front lines in terms of seeking mental health treatment instead of incarceration. I created the Conviction Review Unit that is designed to free people who have been wrongfully convicted. We established the first human trafficking unit in the DA's office, as well as a complex child abuse unit. Talk about I'm the right only now. candidate who supported uh, the statewide bail reform initiative uh, known as SB 10. I have published a document, an op-ed, saying I'm opposed to private prisons. Mm. I launched a training program to train officers to de-escalate the use of force, particularly when talking about people who have mental illness. So far, our office has trained over 3,000 officers. And none of it worked. As the trial lawyer, I obtained the first race-based hate crime murder conviction in the state. I urge Stonewall not to issue this resolution, <laughs> but to look at the facts, follow the laws, and make sure that you have all of the Follow your policy and procedures. The district attorney's uh, office, though not perfect, and I am not perfect, does an excellent job every day this is a of trying to make sure that the right thing is done for the right reason. Even when you found out a policy? I have presented you with the facts, and I ask you to carefully consider that. Sure, you'll I want to thank you for this opportunity to come <coughs> and, long door. and I look forward to more opportunities to speak to the community about the fact. But not the black state. community. Can because you we have asked you for two years, years to speak to the black community and you've run from us. We had to come all the way, more than half of this audience is black people from South LA, from Compton, from Inglewood who had to come all the way out here for you to face us. You said you you told me directly you were afraid that we would yell at you. You signed up to be yelled at. That's what your job you is. You are an elected yourself. official right, and right. you are shushing people yeah. who are the families yeah. of people who've been killed by police that you refuse to prosecute. Lee Jefferson, how long ago was Lee killed? The day before Thanksgiving, 2011, so one officer's bullet, right. my son was bullet, 23 years old. Right, so we have a number of questions, including the one about not coming to South LA. So can we work through some of the questions that we have from all of you? And then it's racism that you come here and not to black communities. Yeah. That's I agree. racism. Yeah. You are a black face on white what supremacy, and you should be you ashamed of yourself. I agree. You should be ashamed right. of yourself. Right. 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 As a mother, you see us down there. You need okay. to address that. That's not cool. Why these people out here? Every single Wednesday at your office because we want to know right. why our families are being murdered and you're not addressing these officers. Okay. I am here to really say Ryan Tommy was murdered for no reason. No 34 reason. shots no. opened the back door. Okay. Right. Assault yeah. rifles. That don't make no yeah. sense. Yeah. And you're not going to address it. You're not going to prosecute nobody. You're not going to do nothing about it. you just going to stand up there and act like that's not a problem. Like your sheriff's is supposed to be doing that. That is not like, policy and procedure. Yes. Yes. You yes. know okay. you got that case yes. and you don't got it. We all want to ask questions. Yes. Can we please? That's not cool. I know you hear us yes. calling your phone because we call. We leave messages. We do that every Wednesday. We okay. sit out there to get your attention every Wednesday. Okay, and you're asking a question and you're not giving her time to answer okay. it. We, we give her time every week. Okay. We give her time every week. Yeah. Okay. I, I understand that. Did, did they give my brother time? They didn't did they give my brother time? Did they ask no. him a question? Did no, they, they aired that shit out. They didn't ask nothing. Oh. Mm. Shot first. Mm. And they, they didn't ask nothing. Mm. They didn't even say what's your name. Unarmed. 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 Let's play that because I, I see you like to address that. Unarmed. But no, Unarmed. Unarmed. She's yeah. talking about she's working on Kevin for 2016, 2018. Her son got killed in 2011. So therefore, she's not working on no case. Period. Her son got killed in 2011. So what case is she working on? Your boy was 10 years ago. What case is she working on? We remember. Shut up, we remember. You're not trying to get your record, sir. In our defense, we've been trying to talk to her for a very long time, sir. Where you coming from? And we're not trying to disrespect your meeting, but this is our first time being able to see her and address her with our problems. And we have a problem. This is some serious Jane. shit. It don't have nothing to do with you. And we're not trying to disrespect you, but this is her. That's her. That's her.
That's her. They don't got nothing to do with you. Sorry, so we just got our first time seeing her. Please don't even not answer any of your questions. That's not what we want. Well, she always does that anyway. That was three was years ago. Years. That was three, three years, years ago. ago. Three and years you haven't made up for that. And That's the last time prior to seen? that, I had been meeting uh, with groups in the community. And I must admit that back then I wish I had stayed. I don't know whether it would change to have changed anything. We gave you I chances would, to do it again I, and I, you refused. I, I, what I want is a dialogue. <laughs> That's all I'm asking for. I will yeah. listen. Come to the black community and give a dialogue. You incompetent and saw your officer. I am regularly in the black community. Not in an open meeting. Stop lying. Stop lying. Stop lying. We offered you, we asked you for a forum and a dialogue two years ago. You called me. I still have the text messages and the voicemail. I am willing to meet as long as we can sit down and have a dialogue. That's all I'm asking. You asking yeah, families to be polite to you. She got questions the last on let's, let's let her answer the questions on the last time we met. Mm. I was not given an opportunity. I felt it was never. My done. brother wasn't given an opportunity. That's true. That's true. All right. So next question. Um, were any of the sheriff's deputies involved in the Ed Buck criminal investigation on the Brady or recurring officer witness list for false reporting? Mm -hmm. Hmm. I don't want to think carefully. Something that I don't know. I don't know the answer. No. Her index card wasn't ready. Her index card wasn't ready for that answer. What since she don't know the answer to that question? That's the next question. But she don't know the answer. We file the case. We run it. I'm not the trial lawyer on the case. But it's your office. That's why the bus stops when? 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 When can you get back? Let's let's put a date on that. Okay. She can't answer anything because they're so corrupt. This okay. next question. No, they're so next corrupt. It's hard to remember. Hey, deep deep in the trans women of color are the rise. What resources have you provided to this vulnerable population, and why doesn't your office employ any trans victim advocates? Mm. I know. You Thank you. An okay, next. Give her a chance. Question: We do have a uh, trans. We have two transgender deputy DAs, and uh, we I, we may actually have a transgender witness assistant. Uh, we didn't ask how many. many Is that true, Joseph? You that. work for her. Is that true? We don't have any trans victim advocates. Thank you. Thank you. Yell at you. you All right. So, Miss Lacey, 
What commitment can you make to the people in this room who have legitimate concerns that you're coming to this white gay enclave and right. they yeah. have been seeking mm -hmm. meetings with you? You won't see her meetings. after she gets your check. What? Right. Can can you you say it again. Tonight? You won't see her after she gets your check. Yes. And y'all vote on her. So. We don't do checks, darling. Okay. okay. That's what she's here for. That's what she's here for. Is there a Democrat, a, uh, Democratic um, club right. in South LA? There are several. That you would submit to going to a meeting of theirs so that you're it's open to everyone. We're recording. Can you do yes. that? Yes. Okay. She said when yes. When will you do I'll make sure New Frontier call right tomorrow. For two years, Jackie Lacey. For two years, we've requested a meeting. and help you facilitate that. Okay. I, I want to make this offer one more time to any victim, anyone who has uh, had someone who has died in the hands of police. I'm making that offer <coughs> to me, the individual families privately. I'm no, but they don't want they, 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 My brother was killed publicly. My brother was killed publicly. My brother was killed publicly. You said it all over the news. You put it all over the news. The video of him being murdered. My brother was killed All the news. All the news. My kids. My kids are going to see that video. My kids are going to grow up and watch that video. Y'all killing my baby. My kids. I didn't put that video. You All right, are the district attorney. Another, did you, do you run them? We got some they really great right. questions like here. Like they, don't, they don't. You can't do nothing about that. Here's what you're not okay. answering, and here's the racism. You say you'll meet privately with the families individually. This is not a private meeting. It's not a one-on-one -on -one meeting. Why won't you come to the black community and she give us the same respect? That. No, she, no, she, she, she committed to private meetings. That's she committed to private meetings with We're them. She committed to meeting with the Black Democratic Club. We want, Democratic 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 we want a public meeting. We want a public meeting. We want a public meeting. Why haven't you given us a public meeting in the two years we've been requesting? Okay, let it's her been answer two that. Years. Is she going to do it publicly, not privately? Yeah, yeah that's what we just said. No, I want her to answer, not you. Okay, put, just speak into the microphone. They didn't hear you. Okay. I will meet with group with families privately, and I will also meet with Black Lives Matter. <coughs> but I want it to be a smaller group. No, no, so it's a I public know. meeting. So that I can you didn't you know that this is a small group. group. Oh, Why Why do black black you cannot black get away with that black double black standard. That's crazy, girl. Bye. <laughs> no, 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 we don't need white people to facilitate a meeting with our own elected officials. But we should have to have a mediated group. Who do you work for? I appreciate the effort. I do appreciate it. Do you work for Jackie? Do you work for Jackie? I got you. She's the facilitator. Not a small group, not a private meeting, a public meeting. So when there is a situation with a civilian and officers are called, why are family members not allowed to help de-escalate the situation, why are they kept away, and sometimes this turns into a fatal shooting? Yes. Right. <coughs> That's I a great question. Please can answer that. I am not there when the shooting occurs, and so I don't think it's right for me to give whatever the reasons are with regard to why that's happening. Okay. Well, you, you got 20 deputies you guarding you. Ask one of them. Investigated. You signed off on it, so how come you can't answer it? You investigated, you signed off on that was your signature on the paperwork proving that you justified. So how can you justify it if you can't answer that? Answer that. Can I answer that? Can I answer that? Can I answer that? So I'm, we are not the lead investigating officers. We send the officers out there to look over Police the investigating police. Where do they do that at, Jackie? Where do they do that at, Jackie? Here. Police investigating police. Bonnie investigating Clyde. Question. Thank you. Lee Jefferson's mother. If I could just answer. Please address her by her name. Ask why we didn't intervene. 
We have a big, the lead investigator are the in, internal affairs investigators who do the actual investigation. So we have investigators and pro, one investigator, one prosecutor who show up at every officer involved shooting and some in custody death. We are not the lead agency in that particular matter. After the fact, after John the Lord, you can kill him. I mean, when it's, it will going, it, when it's going down. Okay. When they have my son in that house, in the back house, by hiding, how come they didn't let his grandmother on that phone to talk to him? I was on my way there. He was killed less than an hour before I could even just talk to him. Mm, his I grandmother was standing outside. Nobody could talk to him. <coughs> they wouldn't let no one talk to my son. They killed him. Murder. Murders. Murders. They riddled Assassinated. him with bullets. 23 years old, you still have Kareem at home. I don't have my son at home. You still have April. I don't have, I don't have that. He's gone. Every day I have to live with this. I have to tell his daughter. His daughter knows the police killed him. His sisters know that. His family, he has a lot of family, he has a lot of friends, and he has a lot of people that love him. They, they tried to criminalize my son after the fact to make it, to justify it because they said he was a gang member. He didn't ask to be killed. Okay. How can officers found You quit saying him? okay. Mm. Let her answer. Yeah. Know how to answer. There was no negotiate. What is the negotiation tactic? Like there's no, I mean, there, no, there, there was no robot. There was no tear gas to try to get him out if he was such, if he posed a threat. How can someone pose a threat if they're hiding? I, I can't disagree with you. I wasn't there. Well, if you can't disagree, then why would you sign off? Why well, would you say that they were justified because he posed a threat to the public? That's he that's did that's not that's pose a threat to the public. That's it. You were asking me about the tactics. I, you know, I am, I'm not going to argue with anyone who lost their son. I'm not. You can't. I, I can't. And you know what else they did? They also handcuffed him after he's dead with shots in his eyes and his heart all over his body. How can he be handcuffed and his back be bruised from him stepping on him? Why step on a dead body? Why does the detective have to be at the coroner's office when they do the autopsy? They know why he died. They know what bullet hit him. He got short, shot five, six, 14 times. Eight of those shots were fatal. The day before Thanksgiving. <laughs> So how can officers found out of policy not be held accountable for murder? That's yeah. good. Out of policy is different from criminal uh, liability. With regard to out of policy, the standard of proof for out of policy is much lower than for criminal behavior. Mm. With regard to criminal behavior, we have to prove beyond a reasonable That's doubt criminal behavior. Evidence that the person is guilty of a crime. And so oftentimes it is not unusual for someone to find that it's out of policy, but we not be able to prove that the officer committed murder or manslaughter. And that's the difference. There's a lot of confusion about that. And, and I, I, I can understand where the confusion comes from, but that's the difference between out of policy and criminal behavior. With criminal, you have to be able to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that someone is guilty. You ready to come? So how criminal, criminal police don't get that sentence? Because of the death penalty, but yet you won't even sentence an officer? But you ready to send somebody to death row? Mm. Right. That's that the governor already that said that he doesn't want you sitting, sending people, 22 people to Black death, people. to death row, Black but not one conviction of one of those officers. So not even give them jail time. But yet you're gonna send 22 other people. Not even fired people. ass. They don't even get it's fired. Not even they don't get, get shit. They don't, they don't get, get nothing. They don't get nothing. Nothing happened. You giving all death penalty, they still but they still working. Work. working. Period. Get the check. But I can't go kill more. somebody for me protecting myself. Where I'm going? Where I'm going? Right. To okay. jail. Underneath the jail. Right. I ain't going to be at home with my kid. Chilling. Back at work dinner. tomorrow. So Working the next day. Like, come on, Jackie. Make this make sense. Because you're not making it make sense. She don't have an index mm -hmm. card with an answer on mm -hmm. When you get the Ryan Kleiman case, and we have members my of the question. family here. Thank you. And you see the video, mm -hmm. and you read the reports. How long will it take you to open a case against him? And why have you not arrested the officers that killed him? And 
why have they not been arrested? arrested? Did you find that shooting out of policy? Uh, with regard to the Twyman case, it normally gets presented to us after an investigation is done by the Sheriff's Internal Affairs Investigator, the Homicide Division. Once that happens, and it does take a while, sometimes it can take up to six months before they get to that case. Once they do, it's our job to go back through. Uh, we re-interview witnesses. We go back to the neighborhood and look and see if there are witnesses that they didn't find. If there's other evidence, we look at the video. We have a use of force expert take a look at it, and we review it very thoroughly. Some of these cases do take a long time, and that's because uh, we are extremely thorough. We look very closely at all of the evidence. And in that case, we will do our absolute best, but it would be improper for me to judge that case at this point because I haven't received all of the evidence and had a presentation. We don't need no evidence. We're, we don't need no evidence. I'm it's on video. About, it's on camera. Out of time. We're almost out of time, guys. So it's on camera. Can... I don't care about no time. It's on camera. You can see the thing Wait, from the beginning to the end. It's a whole video. It's a video. It's all If you type his name right in time, it's going to pop up. Boom, video. You can see that shit. You don't even need the paperwork. You don't need nothing. And it's right time? there. You can you see it. You can see it. You don't need no investigation. You don't need no witnesses. You don't need no nothing. You don't have no You don't need nothing. I know that both of their body guns all on camera. And then one officer finished unloading his Andrew gun. Andrew Lloyd went back, back to his car from. and picked up another I, I rifle. And I unloaded that one into a car that a child, that a man was dead already. And he hey, was shot and the car was not moving. Hey, John. He and was not moving. In the back. So how did you not know that it was no kids in here? In mm. a public apartment Too concert. Too mm. With a school bus behind it. So they didn't even identify the themselves. That's not Kareem or April. I'm sorry, did I? Will you prosecute if one of your Mr. officers Mr. killed Kareem or April? No, because she going to say it didn't get on her December office. December 20, 2018. It didn't hit her desk yet. What is the, by Torrance P.D., what is the status of that case? Do you, do you know? Christopher <laughs> DeAndre Mitchell. She know what. Right. Well, which one were that? Yeah, yeah. Right. she doesn't remember because yeah. there's 500. Yeah. I know that it's so many. Y'all, sheriff's department that kills so many people. It's so hard to keep up, huh? It's hard. I know it's hard for you to keep up with all these people who keep getting killed by the sheriffs, huh? I'm not the sheriff. But you the only person that can trust the Buddha. We don't find shit funny. Hold up. You did too much now to kick in. Come on now. This is families out here. All right. If it was your child, I'm not talking to you. If this was your child, I would be doing the same thing in representation for you. Come on with the smile, Jackie. I'm not with the bullshit. We families out here, and we hurt you. Answer the question correctly. And if you don't, come on now. Granny. So my I was smiling because I know the sheriff was here recently. Uh, I wasn't smiling at all about uh, the loss of life. Um, Compassion, transparency, yeah. accountability. Sandra, That's what we want. With regard to the Torrance case, yes. uh, we have finally gotten that case from the Torrance Police Department, and we're in the process. We have a special unit called the Justice System Integrity Division, and we are looking over all of the evidence in that case. And when we finish, then, then you'll then issue a letter saying no charges. And make a decision. And you'll reality. issue the same you letter that all these other families get. You no charges. No more. You are the cold lady. You are the cold lady. You are the cold lady. I don't have an estimated time. I don't know what's wrong with you. I don't know where you were raised. Pay it off by corrupt cops. I don't know what the fuck going on, but you are a cold lady. Corrupt government. To confirm that you are the cold lady. She said she got all her time. Cases involve white defendants, but 3% of the total, I'm, I'm trying to total, of the total of all of She didn't want to prosecute Ed Buck, so, and she didn't want to prosecute none of the other so officers. Can, okay. can you just walk us through why? But Jamel Moore is dead. Statement, but there are quite a number of, of people. You know, we, we do not choose who commits these murders. They come in oh, and they're wow. eligible for a special she, circumstance or not under the law. The once the murder, wow. once the so she's saying black people just committed. There are 1,200 of those that the committee has reviewed. Oh. And we
we look at every single one. Over 550 police jail killings. We, we, we look at hmm. determine if the mitigating evidence outweigh, is outweighed by the aggravating evidence. We, d we have a diverse committee. We don't look at race. Uh, one thing that should be said yeah. is really? most of our victims are people of color. Most of our victims most Black of and brown, baby. Black, Black and brown. brown. Did you, did you went to KJLH and asked for an endorsement. You said she don't see color. But her ass went to Inglewood, California and asked for an endorsement. You see that? But you, but you didn't come to Compton. You didn't come to Compton, though. No, not to come to Compton. You need to go right. where it matters. Wait, uh, so this really, mm. we're, kind, we're kind of out of time, but kind if re-elected in 2020, she what? won't be. She won't oh, be. Oh, you! Why, Jackie? Everywhere you be! Everywhere you go! of the new law where we're allowed to look at tactics, where there won't be any more fleeing felon rule, I think you will see less police officer shootings. I also think the new law that allows they for training of police officers. But you can't do that. 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 Just say you have that on your heart, cause this what you got going on. This ain't right. God you might want to fix something before you go, because what you've done so far, that shit ain't right. Girl. You gonna be finished. You ain't gonna be able to even believe it. Like you is foul. Fix it before you go. You gotta go, cause you done took it too far. You been off too feel? long. You been off this too long. We've been waiting, 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 waiting. You ain't did shit. It's been too long. It's been years. <laughs> if it was your child, how would you Girl, feel? Mom, what if you been waiting too long? What if what, what if you sitting over here with us next it. year or the year after that? Sitting right here call. next to me. And the fucked up part is all these people right here, all these people right here. Right here if this happened to your son today, we would stand with you. That's the fucked up part about it. That's the fucked up part about it. We would stand with you and try to get justice for your son if it happened to yours. And you sitting up there looking dumb. You hear what we talking about? You see us on Wednesdays. Cold as fuck. Why are there barricades up every time we approach your building on Wednesday? We're not even allowed in your building. And I just heard she took off on Wednesday, so we need to change it to a Monday or a Tuesday because you be in that office. Yeah. That part. I can have just a Why are they criminalizing us out there? I do care. Every morning. You care now that it's re election time. That part. You don't come out and respond. I am a conscientious person. You're only here because it's time for re election. No transparency. Let her son get pulled over and they don't know he's your son and he do the wrong thing and they kill him. What did you go do, Jackie? What did you go do? What did you go do? You gonna leave before we vote on you? Bye, That's Jackie real rude. Jackie. That's Bye, real rude. That's real rude. You're not upset. You're not upset that you got it for 2020. Let's vote. Getting ready to vote on my resolution, y'all. Hope it pass. Hope it pass.
Is she ready to go? No more apples. You stay right there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So We're ready. Go ahead, Jackie. Yeah, I'm so sorry. So, uh, just so you saw the resolution. I'm sorry, but you um, most of you, although, and I read it out earlier. Um, is there a a motion. I make a motion. I make a motion to adopt. Is there a second? Uh, second. Okay. There is a motion, a second. Um, is there, are there any, uh, yes, Barbara? Yeah, I'd like to change, uh, in the second paragraph, tougher stance in pr prosecuting You're police officers so and sheriff that. deputies. We'll be here all okay. night. Well, or it could be, yeah, okay, just. Yeah, Law enforcement sheriff. personnel, but okay, and sheriff's deputies. Two different gangs. Hmm. Okay. Any other? Police gang. Oh, sorry. That's, <laughs> is there a second to that motion to amend? Aye. Second. Um, all those who are members, if you can hold up your card and say. We didn't get our card, we, get our we card. just joined. Yeah. Oh, should, uh, oh, point of order. Point of uh, order. There are a number of members who actually don't have a copy of this resolution. Before we vote, can we either put it on the screen or allow us to see a copy? Well, it, I, it was just as yes, we ran out. Well, so, I understand, but there's a motion on the table. I have a right to see it. I, uh, can somebody at the back please share the motion? Always. Can you read it again? There is always that one. Please read it. Thank you. I'll read it again. With the correction. With the correction. You don't have to yell at me to get me to read it. Just okay. differences in communication style. Restore yeah. community trust in her department. Whereas the Stonewall Democratic Club holds the elected officials we have endorsed to high standards in keeping with our values of equality and justice, yet the trust in Los Angeles County District Attorney Jackie Lacey's department has been eroded by allegations of racial bias, unfairness, lack of communication and lack of public transparency. <coughs> and whereas Jackie Lacey allegedly has mishandled and refused to press charges against Democratic donor Ed Buck mm -hmm. for the 2017 death of Jamel Moore and the 2019 <coughs> death of Timothy Dean in Buck's apartment claiming insufficient evidence. She has repeatedly refused to take a tougher stance in prosecuting police officers and sheriff's deputies who use deadly force against unarmed civilians, particularly African-American and Latino people. Her office has not filed charges against an officer in an on-duty shooting, on-duty shooting in more than 15 years. And whereas voters in her constituency, Los Angeles County, have repeatedly rejected the death penalty at the ballot box, and California Governor Gavin Newsom issued a moratorium on the death penalty in March of 2019, putting a halt to all executions under his watch. Yet District Attorney Jackie Lacey's office has continued to seek the death penalty in capital trials, sending 22 people to death row. Every single one of the 22 people was a person of color. Therefore, be it resolved, the Stonewall Democratic Club recognizes that Los Angeles County District Attorney Jackie Lacey's actions and reports of alleged misconduct have eroded the trust of the public. The District Attorney Government, sorry, District Attorney Department's governmental partners <coughs> and this body. We call upon District Attorney Jackie Lacey to take immediate actions to restore trust in her department and be it further resolved, this resolution shall be communicated to the members of the County Board of Supervisors and all elected officials who have endorsed her 2020 re-election campaign. Authored by Jasmine Canick, member, Stonewall Democratic Club, Dr. John Erickson, Legislative Action Chair, Stonewall Democratic Club, and Jay Wishon, Political Vice President. That's me. The motion to the then was to add and sheriff's deputies in there in the second paragraph. So all, all members who uh, approve this amendment to add and sheriff's deputy, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Okay. Um, and you didn't hear everything we just said? Did you not hear what you just said? He was a very racist white man. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, Lord. We'll deal with your ass. We'll deal with you later, brother. Do I have a second motion as a fourth whereas? We have to be Whereas Jackie Lacey has refused to leave the members of the African American community as a fourth whereas? I'd also like to move to amend a further be it resolved.
resolved <laughs> that, that Stonewall Democratic Club encourages Jackie Lacey to meet directly with members of the African American community. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for that. It's a damn shame, though, that you got to okay, add so that. Come up here so you can help me put this on here, and then we'll read out what the. Then it'll be two different motions, okay? Um, so on the first one, whereas. Uh, is this. You're saying in the third whereas? The fourth whereas. Well, actually, I was hoping to send it on to LACDP. So. Give me 30 seconds. And, yeah, right here. In the first whereas, after Anne, Anne has failed to meet publicly with members of the African American community on these issues. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm, that part, Jerome, that part. Hey, Jerome. Uh, how about members of the black and brown community? Because and somebody pointed out earlier. Add indigenous. Well, then put people of color. Yes, the Tongva. The Tongva. It's the highest rate of filled people. Would, would, would communities of color be That's fine. Be That's fine. Right. We'll, we'll deal with it. Okay, so the, there is a motion on the floor to amend the first paragraph, which currently reads, the Stone, whereas the Stonewall Democratic Club holds its elected officials, the elected officials we have endorsed to high standards in keeping with our values of equality and justice, yet the trust in Los Angeles County District Attorney Jackie Lacey's department has been eroded by allegations of racial bias, unfairness, lack of communication, and lack of public transparency. It would end there normally. The motion is to say, is to add, and has failed to meet publicly with members of communities of color. No, let's, no let's say, let's say, and has failed to meet publicly with black communities and communities of color. I'm fine. Can we add that? I'm black fine. communities okay. and communities of black, black communities. Right, I just, I want to write it down so that I don't screw it up when we make the Thank thing. you, take your time. Uh, we got all sense? the time. Yeah, you got to add yeah. indigenous to that. Community. She helped me. <laughs> so, you, you, as an indigenous person, do you not consider yourself a, a member of a community of color? Is that the? But there's constantly an erasure, an attempt at erasure of indigenous people, specifically. So, calling out the indigenous is important. Yes, it's important. Yes, it is. Because we're on Turtle Island, right here. So, fail to meet publicly with black, indigenous, and communities of color. How about that? Indigenous. And communities of color. And I hope I can read. Somebody will help me figure this out later. I, I will. I will help you. Okay. So that's the motion on the floor. Has, to to add that has failed to meet publicly with black communities, indigenous communities, and communities of color. Yes. Yes. That sounds good. And, okay. Mm -hmm. So all the, is there a second to that motion? I yes. second. All the, um, all the Stonewall members that are approving that say aye. Aye. Opposed? Get it down. Get it down. There you go. All right. Then the tenth <laughs> amendment would be to the third whereas. No. Sorry, the, four, the first therefore be it resolved. To continue to act and please store trust in your department and meet publicly with and do the same um, exact. Meet black, black indigenous okay. and community. Yeah, so exactly. then the therefore be it resolved currently reads that the Stonewall Democratic Club recognizes the Los Angeles County District Attorney Jackie Lacey's actions and reports of alleged misconduct have eroded the trust of the public, the District Attorney Department's governmental partners, and this body we call upon District Attorney Jackie Lacey to take immediate reactions to restore trust in her department and to meet publicly. Okay, so here's with my question. With black indigenous. I, yeah, no, that part I'm okay with. But within the next six months, within the next. Before the months, end of the year. Before the end of the year. It don't take that long. You all around here traipsing for endorsements. Her ass can come and meet with the black people. I say the end of the year is fair.
within, within what time frame? Yeah, the end I can't hear you. We have to 60 days. 60 days? No, the end of the year. That's 30 days. How much the answer is? Can you do 30 days from today? Before the end of the calendar year. She said the answer is. She said the answer is. Jackie Lacey, can you do 30 days after today? Of the year? Yes. 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 To say and meet with <coughs> black, black community, indigenous communities, and communities of color before the end of the calendar year. Yes. Publicly, I'm sorry, publicly. Meet publicly. Make sure I put that in so I don't. Make sure you do. Okay. You guys are keeping honest. I know that's, that's good. Uh, is there a second to that motion? I second it. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. All right. Y'all can't go over there bullying people. At the very end of that paragraph we just amended. Yes. I would like to suggest we throw in the words, won't resign. I sure it's am, Minerva. We asked him for all of us. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. So the motion of the resolution as amended. Now I'm going to try to read. Do, we have, do I have to read it again? No. 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 <laughs> the motion is on the floor. There's been a second. The amendments have been appropriately passed. Um, I do need. Um, I do need, in this case, only Stonewall members voting. So you need to get your card. Card. Everybody, even the ones who who voted, who joined tonight, you need your credential now, please. And I'll need a credential report. Yes. Just a quick question. I know you added sheriffs in the, one of the paragraphs, but I didn't write the amending. Can you just restate where that is? In the yes, it's in the second paragraph where it talks about um, refusing to take a tougher stance in okay. prosecuting police officers and sheriff's deputies. Okay, thank you. No, you can't vote. You're not here. Somebody wants to vote online? Jerome. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, well, he's been watching the whole thing. <laughs> all right, do all of the Stonewall members have their credentials? And do we have a credential report? Okay, we're doing the report now. Uh, yeah, we, uh, we're adding members at the moment. We want to make sure everyone has their vote. Right, we want to make sure everybody has their vote. Y'all like my new tube? Yeah, everybody gets a vote. This okay. one for the history All books, y'all. Yes. Okay. All those, I'm just going to, I'm going to have you hold up your cards, and I'm guessing I don't have to count them, okay? So, I'm going to have you hold up your cards, and I'm guessing I don't have to count them. Okay? So, all those, yes, yes. yes. All those, yes. 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 have a report of, we have 35 uh, voting members who can vote on endorsements, plus the resolution, we have 45 who, who can vote so we have 45 voting members for the resolution, and we have 35 voting members at this point for the, but we haven't, we're not actually doing the consent calendar yet. So, okay. So, all those members who are in favor of adopting this resolution as amended, please raise your cards. Okay, all those opposed, please raise your cards. Okay, the ayes have it. So one whoa, whoa. Back. We'll deal with his ass later. We're dealing with Jackie today. Okay, so the, there's the motion, the resolution passes. I will fix up, the, fix the wording, and then I will submit it to you as well. Bye-bye. I, I appreciate it. Bye, Bye. Bye.
Bye, Jackie. Yes, it passed. And she got out of here quick, fast, and in a hurry. Okay, we're going to take a five minute break if you want to. We ready to vote. We ready to vote. We just voted. <laughs>